Before I begin today's video, don't forget to subscribe to our second channel, the upcoming the World Cup qualifiers. There'll be a lot of content and more of that would probably be going to the second channel. Let us get to 10,000 subscribers, currently almost on 7,000 subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe, and today I have an update on the Ghana Black Star Squad announcement. It's set to be delayed further. We'll be looking at the reasons why that is. As the Nigeria Super Eagles, we already know have named their squad, and the Black Stars are yet to name theirs. And Coach Otoado is being really rigorous before he names the squad that will face the Super Eagles. We all know that this game will determine who goes to the World Cup in November, and that there's very little room for it. We'll also talk about another player has turned down another collab into play for the Ghana Black Stars. We all know the department in which we are lacking and it's the striking. Reports are circulating and emanating from those reports uh, they have not been positive. A player has turned down a call-up uh, to play for Ghana and wants to focus and play for Switzerland. I'll be revealing who that is to you today as you shall subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so nigeria have named the squad and many people have the concern that it doesn't really matter yes uh, they can name their squad and uh, they can be ruthless their selection players who many thought would be in there uh, they are built they are spoiled for choice in the nigeria super eagles and a lot are confident uh, that they will win their game versus Ghana. they've said as much in the reaction uh, they are legends have spoken about it and uh, it has been something that has got a lot of Ghanaian fans especially the faint-hearted ones are really hot and bothered but uh, Ghana Black Stars have not yet named the squad and the reports are emanating that there will be further delays in naming the squad it's quite interesting to see why those delays are and now the Ghana squad against uh, Nigeria will be delayed uh, due to injuries and the avoidance of late changes in the squad I would ask that why don't you name them and put players on standby as contingencies as the Nigeria Super Eagles have done or as many countries do. And now the interim coach has been preparing for the crucial encounter later this month after speaking to a number of players uh, before the announcement of the squad. And now with captain Andre Ayu and forward Benjamin Tete set to miss uh, the games due to suspension and the doubt over the availability of Kamal Din Suleimana. Otoado is not in a rush to release his squad. And meanwhile, uh, Kudus Mohamed is expected to return to the team to missing the African Cup of Nations due to injury. Uh, Daniel Amati, Thomas Pate, and Jordan Ayu have been in communication uh, with the German trained gaffer, as a lot will depend on the trio for the double header. A St. Pauli midfielder Daniel Kofitre is expected to play a key role following his outstanding form in the Bundesliga too. Now most of the players who featured for Ghana at the African Cup of Nations already has been said they will be named and that the game is set for later this month. So because they do not want to make any last minute changes, they are in no rush whatsoever to name the squad. Otoado is uh, making sure that he is doing his work thoroughly in getting the players that can deliver versus the Nigerian Super Eagles. Talking about doing his work thoroughly in getting the players that can deliver, uh, he has been in contact reportedly with English-born player of Ghanaian descent, uh, Kojo Jia. And according to those reports, uh, the, the contact he made not positive. Kojo Jia uh, wants to focus on play for the senior national team of Switzerland. Now, he plays with St. Gallen and he has been approached by the FA to switch nationalities and play for Ghana. And now Dria, who is 24 years of age, was born in England, London, and moved to Switzerland at a young age. He is of Ghanaian descent and holds dual citizenship with Ghana and Switzerland. The Swiss-based striker has rejected the opportunity and wants to focus on playing for Switzerland. And the 25-year-old is having a good season at St. Gallen, having scored 10 goals in 24 appearances. Uh, the Black Stars coach Otuado was hoping to get the striker uh, for the game against Nigeria later this month, uh, but must now turn his attention uh, to others. Uh, so another player we have been contacting, uh, not in the positive, not in the affirmative. 
so we are not sure uh, the striking role uh, they have not they are looking for alternatives and Kujudia was one of them uh, that was looked at unfortunately he has turned down that chance to play for the Ghana Black Stars well we'll see what Otoado comes up with hopefully later this week uh, latest by Friday the squad should be announced. There are further delays happening because making sure that uh, the injuries, uh, the suspensions, taking in consideration all those things, we do not make any last minute changes and get the list right at the first go. So uh, the list will be delayed a bit, uh, but eventually, by the end of the week, I'm thinking it will be out. But Kojodia has turned out the Black Stars. Do you know Kojodia? What can you tell me about him? What do you know about him? Uh, I have not really watched him play before, honestly, and I think uh, if he has 10 goals in 24 appearances, he is doing something right, and uh, you cannot force anyone to play for your national team. As I said, you have to focus on those who are willing and ready uh, to play for the national team, and if he is not ready to play, there's nothing, and there's very little that can be done about that. So now, Sule Ali Muntari next I move to, and it has to be said that uh, no one can turn a blind eye uh, to the performances he's putting up uh, for Accra Hearts of Oak. Sule Ali Muntari has been a person of interest, a man who has been talked about a lot. Gaoka chairman Kujo Fianu uh, recommending him to the Ghana Black Stars, saying he should be called up after his performance in the President's Cup, his performance for Accra Hearts of Oak in general. Uh, you cannot uh, turn down and look away from that. The man has been doing a lot. But in order to call him back, uh, there are things that need to be considered. Considering, first of all, why he was banned from the national team, which was in 2014. I remember what happened, the altercation that happened, Sule Ali Montari and a management committee member of the Black Stars, owing to the delays in salaries being brought. Uh, he had an altercation with them and uh, he was said at the jam affair committee and uh, after that uh, inquiry was made white paper inquiry that's before Sule Montari joins the Ghana Black Stars he has to apologize well from what I know and what I've heard Montari has done that apology as to whether he has to do it officially uh, I don't know but I know Montari has apologized for his actions I'm not quite sure the date he did it but I've heard that news before that he apologized. But that is what probably would need to be checked. The FA need to check that and see if he has apologized. My, and that was the reason why someone like Kevin Prince Boating was not invited. I think a couple of years ago I spoke about that. Sule Ali Montari, should he be considered as a vital for us? They were they are saying that that should be something that should be done. I don't know how important the apology is to these people, but I know for sure that Montari might not have an issue with this, but that should not be used to force him to apologize. If you think he, you need him, and I think um, if Coach Otoado thinks he's important, just call him up. Uh, bygones be bygones. I don't feel the need for an apology here. But hey, I'm not in charge. And those in charge might feel that he has to do that according to the White Paper Commission. White Paper Commission made a lot of recommendations that have not been implemented. More recommendations that are important to the development of our football. And they did not implement it. So uh, why would they want to force this one here? Well, we'll see what happens if Montari is deemed important for the coach of the Ghana Black Stars in the interim or two. So, the Nigerian Super Eagles obviously are pumped and optimistic ahead of their game versus the Ghana Black Stars. Gestine Aguavon, the coach, has said uh, that Nigeria deserved to play in the World Cup more uh, than Ghana. Uh, he, he said, there is no doubt in my mind, I'm Nigerian, a full-blooded Nigerian. And if you ask me such a question, I think without missing words, we deserve a place at the World Cup. However, Guavon admitted that the two games would not be easy for either side. It's going to be a very huge and tough match and a tight one as well. It's going to boil down to us trying to go there, Ghana. We will play everything we can to try to win the game. In fact, both games, but with no disrespect because Ghana is a very strong side individually and collectively. We will just go and fight and try to win the game, he concluded. So I guess in a Guavon, uh, quite confident uh, about this one here and why wouldn't he be uh, his side are in a better position in terms of player personnel ability technical terms and uh, he will hope that he can carry them to the world cup 
later this year. We'll see about that. Nigeria deserve it. We'll see. We'll see if they truly do deserve it. So that has been it for today. They're talking to you about why the Ghana Black Star Squad will be further delayed. And also, Suley Ali Montari's inclusion, another turn down by Kojo Dia, who wants to play for Switzerland, and Augustin Neguavon, confident ahead of the clash. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.